Now that diversity uh, for large corporations, uh, they don't like diversity, okay? And here's, a, I have something right here that maybe you've seen this before, so, <laughs> so don't say anything, but this, this product, it's a food product we, we produce on our, on our uh, micro farm, and this could break the market, okay? Uh, big corporations could not handle this. Big food, food chains cannot handle this, okay? And this, this is, this is my heirloom squash, okay? Now, why do you think <laughs> that this will not go in the stores, okay? Paper or plastic, <laughs> okay? Not, nothing, right? You think anybody wants to ship this? What, where would you put it, right? <laughs> okay, this, this is grown this is grown from vines, that, and, and it's grown as an ornament. It, it dangles like that, and this is a little baby, because this is about three feet. We can get them to three or four and a half feet, or mid, mid-size. And all this is, right here, this is pumpkin pie, okay? This here is pumpkin cookies, okay? This right here is soup, and soup, and soup. And this is that 007 soup <laughs> that, that you, you saw about. We have so much of this. And it grows like this, and it grows. There's uh, really any, any pest that attack, tackle this. Okay, so, so that's something that we grow, and, and there's, many, there's much more of this around. But it's just who's going who's gonna, to who's gonna throw it in the back of the truck? Who's going to carry it? See, so, pardon? Go ahead. <laughs> okay, all right. So there, that's, that's something we discovered, and we like to discover new and interesting varieties. And as students, this is all about discovery. There's more where that came from. Okay, there are places in the world where um, I have here a, um, says here an article about he, he, he with his missing teeth, his worn sweater, sweater and weathered face, Gino, 84, seems an unlikely hero in the quest to preserve biodiversity in the face of climate change. Most of these people are old and they die and their plants are dying with them. Most of their children and their grandchildren have little interest in maintaining the crops, the holdovers from Europe's more agrarian past. See, we have an agrarian past, but everybody's going forward so fast that, that we don't even know what's happening. So you have a situation where this man who's 72 in jeans and a checkered shirt says, I'm the last of a line. I'm an antique. On a recent afternoon, he was drying seeds from the red peppers, a process that will take days to complete. My children love eating good food, but they won't do this. They drive up here, and they take away the beans, the parsley, the pears, and the melons, and they don't really care about the seeds. So we should care, and we should care a lot. So let's talk, let's talk, uh, let's talk something here about your grandparents, because I, I think you owe something to your grandparents and your great-grandparents, because they must have done something right. You're sitting here, right? Okay. <laughs> They must have eaten well enough to survive and procreate because you're the, you're the last in the, you're their line. Okay? And what's going to happen when on your watch, what's going to happen with the seeds and the source of life? Okay? In, in, um, in the diversity, what they ate, your great-grandparents ate, this, this would be symbolizing the crops that they would have at their table. This would be the, the hundred percent of their diet. This would be the symbolic of their diet. That's your great parents, great grandparents diet that they ate and that produced you. Okay? A hundred over a hundred years later, this is what's left of the food supply. You can't see that? That's three pennies. Okay. A ninety seven percent loss of the food supply. All right. Now you're sitting here and we're sitting here on three pennies worth of food. All right? On your watch Okay, as you get older and older and you want your children to have a life and, and, and continue on, what possibility, what's the possibility of this happening over 100 years? Okay, are you going to be left with this to hand on to your children and say, hey, good luck, hey, lucky penny? <laughs> it better be lucky because any, any combination uh, of disasters could happen. And, and people could take, take over a seed source, like Monsanto was like to, to do. And you are, you, are, you are left struggling just for food. We're not talking about oil. 
and water, we're talking about the source of life. It, uh, when your bellies are full, it's nice. You know, you can, you can complain and you can um, bitch about the uh, ga gas prices, but wait, wait till f food becomes a problem. So let's look at, uh, let's, let's stop talking right now. And the question you should be asking yourself is? Right, that's very good. Very good, that's right. That's why your student's here, and that's why this is, that the change is right here in this room, because uh, real solutions get down to specifics. And I know one size doesn't fit all, because I don't think, you know, I didn't, I didn't come here to say to do as I do. What I'm saying is that in your own way, okay, each of you in your own way, in your own time, okay, in your own space, or if you're lucky, a place you have. But you do have space. And I told Eddie about a man that came to me at the, at the uh, Focus on the Nation table that we had in UCLA here back in February. And he said after the lecture, he went and he planted seeds in, in cups in his dorm. And I looked at that and I said, unbelievable. Because you did something, one thing. That's all you have to do to start. You do one thing. And you, anybody can do something. Now, you heard about shopping at farmer's markets and you ate, you ate that result right there. But you search out and you support the small farmers because it's the small farmers that are close, that are, that are in this, in this uh, able to do this for you, to keep this at its level and maybe increase it. This, this would be my, my contribution to increasing it. Then you consider supporting organizations that are fighting against the corporate tide. You spread the word. You pass along the passion that you have. You don't have to spend dollars because dollars are... are Sometimes they're too easy, but you must spend energy. So there, there are seed sa there's a seed savers exchange, for instance, that's all about keeping these alive. There's the Organic Consumers Association, and there's your local pathoffreedom.com. <laughs> so, uh, 